now let's talk about something important which is what spanning a column okay or column span if you like so it is possible that on, in your table you would like a particular data or a particular heading to span a uh, multiple what multiple columns how do you do how do you increase the the column sizes or the data to cross multiple columns let's go back to our table let's create one more table and then and insert this uh, details this table I just I just copied now this is a very beautiful table let me explain then we appreciate whatever is going on you can still see first our table row on our table row we have a very first column or a very first heading that is empty okay and we have other what we have other headings this is a timetable that has five columns these are the four columns those four columns have data in them a timetable these are the time span for each each of the lessons this is 9 a.m there is 10 a.m there is 11 a.m this is 12 a.m which means every subject must be studied one hour but you may want to give one particular subject two hours you don't have to be entering the same subject in each of the cell you can just write one okay if it's mathematics let's say one mathematics but it will cross it will span these two these two columns so it doesn't have you, you don't have to be entering mathematics 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 so these are the headings okay now let's go to this particular part these are the subjects okay this is monday okay on monday this is also another heading for monday this will be what uh, a row heading you can see column span inside the table data you see what column span and the value is what two computing this simply means that we are stretching or we are spanning this column to cover what two different cells okay so we are stretching the column to cover what two cells this is what robotics robotics there's nothing like there's no attribute like column span in that means that this is taking the natural one this is taking a natural one on tuesday we are spanning the the coding column to cover what three different periods that means like three different hours will be used for what? for coding alone and the last okay period will be what the last period which is 12 a.m will be used for what physics on monday computing will take what 9 a.m and then 10 a.m together then we have what robotics taking 11 a.m mathematics taking 12 a.m but on tuesday we are given coding three different three periods or three hours and then faces will take what only 12 a.m let's save this our file and then view it on the browser to see how it is going to be rendered it beautiful you can see this table on monday we gave computing 9 a.m and dot 10 a.m we have span it what we have span computing to cover what two different cells which is this 8 9 a.m and 10 a.m robotics have what only one period math math has one period but on tuesday see one interesting thing coding is covering what three so nine ten and eleven whilst physics is taking the last period which is what 12 so this is what uh spanning a particular column which is what core span the that is an attribute you are going to insert into what into either your heading or your data in this case we are entering it into our table data you can decide to also span a column a column what heading instead of a column data